Julian Assange of WikiLeaks says that shadowy figures tied to Queen Elizabeth are rigging elections. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange says shadowy figures connected to Her Majesty are using dirty tricks in order to rig elections. Cambridge Alenica's parent company Strategic Communication Laboratories, or SCL Group, has deep ties to the British Conservative Party. The military establishment, the House of Lords, defense contractors, and the royal family. According to Julian Assange, this company has engaged in a number of dirty tricks in order to rig elections at home and abroad. Quote, we finally have the most concrete evidence yet of shadowy actors using dirty tricks in order to rig elections. But these characters aren't operating from Moscow. Instead, they are British, Eton educated and have close ties to Her Majesty. According to this report, Cambridge Analytica is a mere offshoot of strategic communication laboratories, as stated before, an organization with its roots deeply embedded within the British political, military, and royal establishment. Indeed, as the Observer article which broke the scandal said, for all intents and purposes, SCL, Cambridge, Alenica are one and the same. Like Cambridge and Analytica, SCL Group is behavioral science research and strategic communications company. In 2005, SCL went public with a glitzy exhibit at the DSEI conference, the UK's largest showcase for military technology. Its hard sell was a demonstration of how the UK government could use a sophisticated media campaign of mass deception to fool the British people into thinking an accident at a chemical plant had occurred and threatened central London. Board members include an array of lords, Tory donors, ex-British army officers, and defense contractors. This is the scandal that cuts to the heart of the British establishment. These organizations have boasted that it has conducted behavioral change programs in over 60 countries, and its clients have included the British Ministry of Defense and the U.S. State Department and NATO. A Freedom of Information request from August 2016 shows that the MOD has twice bought services from strategic communication laboratories in recent years. In addition, the SCL also carries a secret clearance as a List X contractor for the MOD. A List X site is a commercial site on British soil that is approved to hold UK government information marked as confidential and above. Essentially, the SCL got the green light to hold British government secrets on its promises. Meanwhile, the U.S. State Department has a contract for half a million dollars with SCL. According to an official, this was uh, to provide research and analytical support in connection with our mission to counter terrorist propaganda and disinformation overseas. This was not the only work that SCL has been contracted for with the U.S. government, the sources added. In May of 2015, the SCL Defense, another subsidiary of the Umbrella Organization, received $1 million to support NATO operations in Eastern Europe targeting Russia. In conclusion, SCL's links to the Conservative Party in Britain continues through the company's chairman and venture capitalist Julian Wheatland. He also happens to be chairman of Oxshire Conservative Association. The organization has also been funded by Jonathan Marland, who is the former Conservative Party treasurer, a trade envoy under David Cameron, and a close friend of Tory election strategist Linton Crosby. Property tycoon and Conservative Party donor Vincent Tengzingu was also the single largest SCL shareholder for a decade. Meanwhile, another director is Gavin McNichol, founder of counterterrorism Eden Intelligence Firm, who ran a G8 Plus meeting on financial intelligence cooperation at the behest of the British government. The aforementioned examples barely scrape the surface of just how deep the ties go between the UK defense establishment and strategic communication laboratories. 
Indeed, it seems evident that the organization is a product of murky alliances formed between venture capitalists and former British military and intelligence officers. Unsurprisingly, they also happen to be closely tied to the higher echelons of the Conservative Party. International deception and meddling is the name of the game for SCL. We finally have the most concrete evidence yet of shadowy actors using dirty tricks in order to rig elections, but these characters aren't operating from Moscow intelligence bunkers. Instead, they are British, Eton educated, headquartered in the City of London, and have close ties to Her Majesty's government. A tensely worded new foreign intelligence service report circulating in the Kremlin today states that within hours of elite Russian forces obliterating the CIA base in Syria, behind a plot to assassinate President Trump, WikiLeaks leader Julian Assange posted to his Twitter account the long-awaited, quote, Marshall attack, unquote, message signaling his acceptance of Trump's terms. And that has now left the entire world holding its breath in fear as to how the American shadow government or deep state will respond. According to this article and report, Julian Assange is a long-time known U.S. intelligence operative whose WikiLeaks whistleblowing website is a CIA-created and operated deep cover organization that had split with the deep state and whose factual war embroiled the 2016 U.S. presidential election by their releasing tens of thousands of Hillary Clinton and Democratic Party emails and who also, after Trump won, began releasing some of the CIA's most hidden secrets. In fearing that Julian Assange would begin posting further CIA secrets, this report details President Trump began planning to free him from his forced deep state confinement in London's Ecuadorian embassy, but with the plan eventually meeting failure when, on December 25th, the U.S. Office of Naval Intelligence posted to the U.S. Navy Twitter account the words Julian Assange, thus signaling they were preparing at all costs to keep Trump from freeing Assange. In fearing that President Trump was going back